We we'll yield next uh, to my dear friend from the state of Indiana, Ms. Wilorski. Two minutes. I thank my friend for yielding. This week, our nation is making a solemn anniversary, 49 years since the deadly Roe v. Wade decision. For nearly half a century, pro-life Americans have been standing strong to defend precious human life and the most vulnerable among us. Right now, we're facing some tough challenges. Under the current one-party rule in Washington, Americans are witnessing unprecedented attacks on pro-life protections across the country. Time and time again, I've come to this floor to oppose Democrats' radical anti-life agenda. As many times as it takes, I will stand here to reject the attacks on life, and I'll vote no on taxpayer-funded services including the wicked proposal to permit abortion on demand at any time bankrolled by the American people. These are dark days in this country. At the same time, we have so much to be happy and hopeful for as we look at this new year. The Supreme Court, including my fe fellow Hoosier Justice Amy Coney Barrett, is currently considering the most significant challenge to Roe v. Wade since 1973. This could be the final anniversary that we stand here and proclaim under Roe v. Wade. For five decades, we've been in a long battle against abortion, and this is the time to restore the dignity of life and protect life once and for all. As a pro-life lawmaker, I'm proud to stand alongside millions of Americans in Indiana and across the country who believe in the inherent value of life. Our enduring commitment to life and the truth will prevail. Thank you. I yield back. Thank you, dear friend, and you're exactly right. The sanctity of human life is one of the central principles that the country is founded upon, and it, it does get darkest before the dawn. There is hope on the